Hello and welcome to the Allegro tutorial number three. Um, I'm just gonna be teaching you about a little bit of neat functions in Allegro, and one of them is putting text to the screen. Now I'm not gonna be covering a lot in each video. I'm just taking little steps. The reason for this is because if you learn too much in one video, you can get overwhelmed. So if you learn a little bit each video, you can practice a little you learn and get good at it. So now, this is how we do text. Text out underscore ex. So let me zoom in. Sorry for that. So text out ex. Open and closing brackets. Well, actually, we should put opening brackets. As you see, it says bitmap bmp constant font constant charge string int x int y int color int bg which stands for background so the bitmap is where you're drawing the image to so we never really learned bitmaps that yet but we're gonna get into that in the future so in this case just put it to the screen now the def default font for allegro is font so just type in font now this is the text you want to put so I'm going to put hello world I am coding in Allegro let me move this over a bit Allegro and then we end it so now we put another comma and the X and Y position is where you want to place it on the screen so what you will want to notice is on the screen the upper left corner is zero zero. In some programming languages, such as Turing, the the x and y coordinates start at the bottom left. But in C plus plus, the zero the x and y coordinates they start at the top left corner. So we want to put we want to put it at the very top left corner. So we put zero and zero, and to do color we put the word make call which means make color and if you never learn about the RGB color system it stands for red green and blue and basically the max number you can put is 255 so the larger the number the richer the color is right so you can mix colors so if I were to put 255 0 and 255 that will give me magenta because I mixed all of red and I mixed all of blue which equals magenta so say I want to make this yellow um, I'll do 255, 205 and 250 I think that might be yellow right so then I put 255 of red 205 of green and 205 of blue and then we want to do comma and this is the background color the last one in this case we're gonna put negative one which makes it transparent and transparent means that it blends in with the background so let's run this program and it says hello world I'm coding a light girl and that isn't even yellow but it's a neat color right and let me just press the key and it closes now that's how you do text in a light girl now for the background color you don't have to put negative one you can also put make color so if you want the background color to be different so let me change this to 255.00 to make it red text because it's 255 red and no green and no blue and let me change this background color to blue so it's a blue background so let's run this program okay and as you see it has a blue background behind it so that's some neat things about text and here's another thing that's cool about Allegro 
we're going to use the keyword clear to color and we the bitmap is asking for it so we're going to use green again and we put make color and let's make it green and instead of telling you what it means I'm going to sh I'm going to show you what it does and you can guess what it does oh sorry I'm missing a bracket and let me compile this and look we have a green background what clear to color does is it clears the bitmap in the color you selected so we selected green right so now say we want a green background for our text so we have to put it before because when we had it after it wrote our text then it put a green thing over the screen so it kind of went over the text so if you want the text to show up in a green background we put it before and you have a green background that says hello world I'm coding in Allegro so ain't that neat so that's what I'm teaching in this tutorial and we'll get into more stuff in the next tutorial I'll probably show you how to change the font in the next tutorial because the font the default font in Allegro is kinda of boring and small and stuff so I wanna teach you how to use your own font and to use the and to change the size of the font so that's all for now and bye